Hey guys, welcome back to Diet Jesus. My name is Maple, and today I'm gonna to be watching The Shawshank Redemption for the first time. Morgan Freeman! <gasps> Who doesn't love Morgan Freeman? Is this like an action thriller? Shawshank? I don't know, what, are we, what am I, I don't know what I'm watching. Is he okay? Sounds like bullets. Yeah, and a gun, okay. Maybe slow down. Mr. Dufresne, describe <sighs> the confrontation you had with your wife the night that she was murdered. <gasps> it was very bitter. What happened after you argued with your wife? He killed his wife. Packed a bag, waiting. With what intention? Murder. Not sure. Murder on my mind. Used to drill. Well, where I get hazy is where the cleaning woman shows up the following morning and finds your wife in bed with her lover riddled with 38 caliber bullets. How many bullets does his gun hold? Because that means with the revolver? It's the truth. That's a crime of passion, you guys, right, in the true crime world. Three days and we'll call it a crime of passion. That also is very convenient, isn't it, Mr. Dufresne? Since I am innocent of this crime, sir, I find it decidedly inconvenient that the gun was never found. Oh, is it going to show us the truth? I hereby order you to serve two life sentences back to back. Wow. One for each of your victims. So be it. Assuming that he did it, then yeah. Hello? It's Morgan Freeman! Woo! Look at him, he looks so young. We see by your file you've served 20 years of a life sentence? Yes, sir. You feel you've been rehabilitated? Oh, yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. I can honestly say that I'm a changed man. Have to come in. 1927. Have to come in and advocate for yourself. How'd it go? Same old, different day. There must be a con like me in every prison in America. Ooh. I'm the guy who can get it for you. Yes, sir. I'm a regular Sears and Roebuck. <laughs> oh, no. So when Andy Dufresne came to me in 1949 and asked me to smuggle Rita Hayworth into the prison for him, I told him, no problem. What is that? Is this the prison? That's the prison? Looks like a, a castle in Europe. Not not this area. More like a camp. Andy came to Shawshank Prison in early 1947 for murdering his wife and the fella she was banging. Oh, uh, Chad would be glad to know that I do know that that man is in Firefly. Take my love. Even though we haven't watched Firefly, but that's... That's him. I also watched him in. Uh, what other movie? Another. It was a like a war movie. With the sniper. All right, who's your horse? That little sack is. I must admit, I didn't think much of Andy the first time I laid eyes on him. Looked like a stiff breeze would blow him over. That was my first impression of the man. What do you say, Red? A tall drink of water with a silver spoon up his ass. That guy. Damn. Just imagine. Ice front. Cold in there. It looks like it's cold and damp. I'll not have the Lord's name taken in vain in my prison. Was that the, the guy rules? that's from Firefly? Figure out as you go along. <laughs> Any questions? When There's something wrong with me. <laughs> Guys, it might not be. I don't know. I'm so face blind. <gasps> oh. On your feet. I believe in two things. Discipline and the Bible. Put your trust in the Lord. Your ass belongs to me. Welcome to Shawshank. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't only <laughs> not supposed to be <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Turn around. That's kind of for the girls. Cause Turn around. What is that? Move out of the cage, go to your left. The first night's the toughest. 
No doubt about it. What did they put it. on them? Skin burning and half blind from that delousing they throw on you. Most Damn. new fish come close to madness the first night. Somebody always breaks down crying. I would. Happens every time. Oh my god, I'd cry. The only question is, who's it gonna be? I had my money on Andrew Dufresne. I think he's disassociated. The boys always go fishing with first timers, and they don't quit till they reel someone in. Sleep. Like for their butt? Yeah, that is. Talk to me, boy. I know a couple of big old bull queers that just love to make your acquaintance. Oh, I don't belong here. With it's just your prostate, dude. It's gonna be. And it's all good. By a nose. Yes. What did that guy do? Why is he there? Go home. What is your malfunction, you fat barrel of monkey spunk? Please. Monkey spunk. I'm supposed to be here. Am I allowed to say that? Please. Man, shut up. Hey, you don't understand. I'm not supposed to be here. Open that cell. <gasps> so you about to beat him? I'm scared. Ah! Oh my god. Oh. Police brutality. Ah! <gasps> if I hear so much as a mouse fart in here the rest of the night. I swear by God and Sonny Jesus, you will all visit the infirmary. I'd be done for. I have mouse farts. Just little toots and you're screwed. Please take that tub of shit out of the infirmary. His first night in the joint and the Dufresne cost me two packs of cigarettes. Damn. He never made a sound. Yeah, because he did, he did that. I feel like he did that. I'm thinking he did. Maggots. Yummy. Are you going to eat that? And and plan on <gasps> Jake says thank you. Fell out of his nest over by the plate shop. Morning, fellas. Fine morning, isn't it? Come on, set them down. I want them all lined up here, just like a, a Pretty little chorus line. Hey, Tyrell, you pulling for me duty this week? How's that horse of mine doing anyway? Good? <gasps> Hadley busted his head up pretty good. Oh my god, they killed him. That's murder. What's his name? They murdered him. What'd you say? It didn't matter what his name was, he's dead. What if he wasn't actually guilty? Like, what if he didn't actually? Guys, I see what this movie's doing to me. Oh, man. Anybody get to you yet? Hey, we all need friends in here. I could be a friend to you. Hard to get. I like that. Okay. And he kept pretty much to himself at first. Wasn't until a month went by that he finally opened his mouth to say more than two words to somebody. As it turned out, that somebody was me. Is he like scoping the place out? Why'd you do it? I didn't, since you asked. <laughs> you can fit right in. Everybody in here is innocent. Didn't you know that? Hey, well, what you in here for? Didn't do it. Lawyer, me. I wonder if you might get me a rock hammer. What? What is it and why? What do you care? Well, if it was a toothbrush, I wouldn't ask questions. I'd just quote a price. But then a toothbrush is a non-lethal object, isn't it? Fair enough. Rocks. Rocks. Quartz? Or maybe you'd like to sink your toe into somebody's skull. No, sir. I have no enemies here. No? Wait a while. Uh-oh. Word gets around. Sisters have taken quite a liking to you. Especially Boggs. He wants to touch you, but who doesn't matter? He wants to touch your butthole because he's a man. And he'll put his <laughs> weenie <laughs> in any hole. I don't understand. He will. If I were you, I'd throw eyes in the back of my head. I'm sorry, guys. Thanks That's a joke. Well, that's free. Then I'd guess you want to escape. Tunnel under the wall, maybe. If I miss something here, what's funny? 
You'll understand when you see the rock hammer. Thank you, Mr. Uh... Red. Name's Red. Red. Mr. Red. Why do they call you that? Maybe it's because I'm Irish. <laughs> I'm I a little. Like some of the boys took him for snobby. Scared for his he butthole. We about him. He strolled like a man in a park without a care or a worry in the world. Like Maybe he, he didn't do it. Coat He's either a, a psychopath. Yeah, I think it would be fair to say I liked Andy from the start. Okay. Let go. He maybe he may like him, but he's either scary or Move it. scary psychopath Move it. or completely disassociated, or he didn't do it. And it was right. I finally got the joke. It would take a man about six hundred years to tunnel under the wall with one of these. Or would it? Look, look, no. This old man is so cute. Your friend. I love that giant wicker basket. Did you guys see that? Where can I get me one of those? Oh god. Oh god. I'd be clenching my ass so hard. I would be doing squats every day in my room and hip thrusts. So that way my ass crack. Get this in your eyes. It's so light. tight. I'm scared for him. Shh. Ah, this is terrible. Ew. You're disgusting. That guy belongs in there, but he needs to be locked up somewhere else. I wish I could tell you that Andy fought the good fight and the sisters let him be. I wish I could tell you that, but prison is no fairy tale world. Things went on like that for a while. Prison life consists of routine. Sometimes he was able to fight him off, sometimes not. And that's how it went for Andy. That was his routine. I do believe those first two years were the worst for him. And I also believe if things had gone on that way, this place would have got the best of him. Wouldn't you know it? Me and some fellows I know were among the names called. Only cost us a pack of smokes per man. Thirty-five thousand. That's what he left me. Dollars? And you nuts! Keep your eyes on your mop, man. At the end of the year, you figure the tax wrong, you got to pay him out of your own pocket. Hey! Do you trust your wife? What I mean is, do you think she'd go behind your back, try to hamstring you? Step aside, Mert. This is having himself an accident. You don't push him off the roof. Because if you do trust her, there's no reason you can't keep that 35000 All of it. Every penny. Well, he is a finance man. The IRS allows a one-time only gift to your spouse for... Tax-free? Tax-free. IRS can't touch one cent. What? Killed his wife, aren't you? Hey, do it. I would. Yeah, please. It's perfectly legal. Go ask the IRS. They'll say the same thing. What? That's so nice. Up to sixty-five thousand dollars. Do you need someone to set up the tax-free gift for you? I suppose I could set it up for you. That would save you some money. I'd only ask three beers apiece for each of my co-workers. <laughs> what are you, Jimmy, staring at? Back to work. Go to work. Well, I was staring at you about to murder somebody over the over the. the, the a gift to your wife, taxes, I don't know. That is, it's, it it's not the, guys. it's not the guy, it's not the right guy. The last day of it, wound up sitting in a row at 10 o'clock in the morning, drinking icy cold Bohemia style beer. Oh, you just wasted Thanks some beer, bro. Hardest. We sat and drank with the sun on our shoulders and felt like free men. We were the lords of all creation. As for Andy, he spent that break hunkered in the shade. Want a cold one, Andy? No, thanks. Gave up drinking. That's nice. I think he did it just to feel normal again. If only for a short while. This movie is cool. And we can be friends, are we? Yeah, I guess. Ask it something. Why'd you do it? I'm innocent, right? Just like everybody else here. What are you in for? Murder. Same as you. Innocent. Only guilty man in Shawshank. 
Pam. Ready? Wait, 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 wait. This is the part I really like, just when she does that shit with her hair. Oh, yeah, I know. I've seen it three times this month. Are you decent? Me? What do you want? Rita Hayworth. What? Can you get her? Take a few weeks. Weeks? Oh, yeah, Andy. I don't have her stuff down in front of my pants right now, I'm sorry to say. But I'll get her. Relax. <laughs> Okay, well, goddamn. This man just needs... Ain't you gonna scream? The butthole, I guess. He's got it locked down there, so... Oh, God. This is not good. <gasps> what the f... Where did you get that? I'll put all eight inches of the steel in your ear. You should know that sudden serious brain injury causes the victim to bite down hard. They have to pry the victim's jaws open with a crowbar. You want to play bitey? Look at this shit. I read it. Boggs didn't put anything in his mouth. And it's been a month in the infirmary. Damn. Time's up, Boggs. It's your world, boss. I swear to God, it looks like it, it looks like him. <gasps> oh yeah. You don't mess with the man's tax man, okay? Where's he go? Grab his ankles. Oh God. No. That guy's like the Reaper, no. dude. No. The sisters never laid a finger on Andy again, and Boggs never walked again. <gasps> man likes to play chess. Let's get him some rocks. We had enough rock saved up to keep him busy till rapture. And of course, the most important item, Rita Hayworth herself. <laughs> Pleased to see readings. Any favorite passages? Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house come. Mark 1535. He's like that one. I hear you're good with numbers. Oh, nice. Can't say I approve of this. But the I mother. <laughs> exceptions can be made. Agamemnon! Salvation lies within. Yes, sir. <sighs> is he actually crazy and he's just playing, all, playing him? Truth is. Norton wanted to size Andy up. You enjoy working in the laundry? No, sir, not especially. Well, perhaps we can find something more befitting a man of your education. Oh, my God. Hey, Jake, where's Brooks? Andy, and I, I thought I heard you out here. Oh, my God, he Very kept the bird the whole time. I know, they told me. <laughs> Ain't that a kick in the head? <laughs> what the hell? That's him. That's the one. Thinking about maybe setting up some kind of trust fund for my kids' educations. Oh. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. And then Andy says, it, Mr. Deacon, you want your sons to go to Harvard or Yale? He didn't say that. God is my witness. How about expanding the library? Get some new books in there. How do you expect to do that? I'm getting new books in here, Mr. Dufresne, if you please. Ask the warden for funds. <laughs> son, 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 son. As far as they're concerned, only three ways to spend the taxpayers' hard earned when it comes to prisons more walls, more bars, more guards. Still, I'd, I'd like to try with your permission. Would you write your letters if it makes you happy? The following April, Andy did tax returns for half the guards at Shawshank. Year after that, he did them all, including the wardens. Fred, Andy, it's Brooks. Brooks, we can talk about this, right? Not to talk about, goddammit, it's all talked out. Why? Wait, wait a minute, what's he done to you? It's what they done. Brooks, Brooks, look at me. Put the knife down. Look at his Is neck. he just really old? Is he losing his mind? Brooks, look at his neck. He's 
<laughs> Wait, is he? Oh, is a sentence ending? Look at easy. And he's old now. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. What about me? Ain't you heard his parole come through? Man's crazy as a rat in a tin sh house is what. Oh, hey, well that's enough out of you. That's sad. Brooks ain't no. He doesn't. Bug. He goes. It's just. Where is he gonna go? Just institutionalized. Probably I was thinking about that today. Gypsy Rose gets out of jail. Out of your ass. And how do you adjust? You believe whatever you want, Floyd. But he's so old. And you get used to him. Yeah, because, like, what is he going to do? He's Not been in there for a while, too. Send you here for life? That's exactly what they take. Look at him. What was he in there for, I wonder? He should see if he can get a job at another library again. I don't know how that works, but... I can't believe how fast things move on the outside. And a job, bagging groceries at the foodway. Okay. I try to keep up, but my hands hurt most of the time. Make sure your man double bags. Last time he didn't double bag, and the bottom near came out. Surely well. I don't think the store manager likes me very much. Sometimes after work, I go to the park and feed the bird. I keep thinking Jake might Guys. just go up and say hello. But oh, his he never bird. Does. I hope wherever he is, he's doing okay and making new friends. What the frick? Why is this so sad? Sometimes it takes me a while to remember where I am. Maybe I should get me a gun and rob the foodway so they'd send me home. I'm tired of being afraid all the time. I've decided not to stay. I doubt they'll kick up any fuss. Not for an old crook like me. Guys, guys, hey. Okay, what is he doing? I got scared for a second. <gasps> Not gonna kick up a fuss? What are you doing? Not for an old crook like me. P.S. Tell Haywood I'm sorry I put a knife to his throat. <sighs> He should have died in here. Goddamn mess, I'll tell you that. He finally finally got his books. That's great. I'm so glad. It's Thank you. Right. I want all this cleared up before the warden gets back. It's not the same guy, guys. I'm so embarrassed. He looks, he kind of looks like the guy in Firefly. Okay. I'm gonna go pinch a loaf. When I come back, this is all gone, all right? I don't say that. Pinch a loaf. <laughs> He's crazy. That's what I was saying, dude. Oh, well, he's just sharing. They don't ever get to listen to music, huh? It pissed the warden off something awful. Turn it up. Turn it up. Look at him. It's crazy. <laughs> you mean that you want me to think that that man was hey. innocent? You're mine now. Homie, you're a murderer for Rizzle. For Rizzle, for Rizzle. Okay, and we're back here. Again, okay, so this has to be like another meeting. So they do this regularly. You feel you've been rehabilitated? Oh, yes, without a doubt. Behind every dollar earned, there was Andy keeping the books. Two deposits. Tell them they overstarched my shirts again. They're going to hear about it from me. How do I look? 
Like a scammer. Woman like, can't bake with shit. Cry. I'd be sad. I'd be like, what? <laughs> Spent all that time on that pie. Right here. Two years and a half. You got scams you haven't even dreamed of. Kickbacks on his kickbacks. Problem with having all that money is that sooner or later you're going to have to explain where it came from. Well, that's where I come in. It's going to lead to somebody. I'm sure it is. But not to me. Certainly not to the warden. All right, who? Randall Stevens. Who? I conjured him out of thin air. He doesn't exist. If they ever trace any of those accounts, they're going to wind up chasing a figment of my imagination. See, he's so, he's cuckoo. I'm not saying he's like it's not interesting. You remember it. But he's and crazy. The funny thing is, I had to come to prison to be a crook. Ah! I do like how they film that, like each, like gap in the bookshelf. They like oh, move bad. with it. Everybody's gonna go bananas because there's new fish on a new bus coming into prison. Show us your butts. Yeah. Oh. Tommy Elvis came to Shawshank in 1965 on a two-year stretch for B and E. Hey, come on, old boys! Move it like molasses, making me look bad. We liked him immediately. What are you in for? Me? Lawyer, f me. <laughs> Everybody's innocent in here. Don't you know that? <laughs> I was thinking maybe trying for my high school equivalency here. You helped a couple fellows with that. R. R. S. S. T. So Andy took Tommy under his wing started walking him through his ABCs. Tommy took to it pretty well, too. So you say, at least, like, you've probably... He had. Like, you probably, like, see a lot of things, you know? Like, if you're Before seeing words... And started him on his court. ...without being able to read. He really event, like, I feel like you might be able to pick it up, kind of... ...to help a youngster crawl off the ship. Okay. Is he doing, like, a Time. word test? Oh, I see. He's preparing for the exam, I suppose. Well, it's probably not as bad as you think. Yeah, it's worse. I didn't get a fucking thing right. Might as well have been in Chinese. Oh, oh my God, don't crumple your skin, John. Right there. There's oh a God. goddamn score. F it. Honestly, I don't like taking tests. I'm not. I hate test taking, so Feel I don't bad. him. Let him down. Oh, that's crap, kid. He's proud of you. What's he in here for, anyway? Murder. Thought his wife in bed with some goth pro. Squeezed them both. What? I was in Thomaston on a two to three stretch. Get a new cellmate in. Elmo Blatch. So, one night like a joke. I say to him, I say, yeah, Elmo, who'd you kill? So he says, got me this job one time, bussing tables at a country club. So I pick out this guy, go in one night, he wakes up, gives me shit. So I killed him. I mean, this tasty bitch he was with. <laughs> it's the best part. Oh, but he married some other guy. <laughs> and he's the one they pinned it on. Damn. I have to say, that's the most amazing story I ever heard. But well, let's say for the moment this Blatch does exist. You think he'd just fall to his knees and cry, Yes, I did it, I confess. It's a chance, isn't it? How can you be so obtuse? What? Son, you are forgetting yourself. The, the country club will have his old time cards. I'd be just as indicted as you for laundering that money. It's you ever mention money to me again, you sorry son of a... Sir, I, I didn't... Solitary, a month. Yes, sir. Jesus. Oh, what's the matter with you? Get Jesus. Oh. This is my chance to get out. Don't you see that? A month in the hole. It's the longest damn stretch I ever heard of. Well, you saying Andy is innocent? I mean, for real innocent? Yeah. It looks that way. How long has he been here now? 1947? What? what is that? 19 years? Damn, yeah, I was gonna say, it's been a while. Over here. You're gonna open it? You're gonna stand there with your thumb up your butt? Thumb up my butt sounds better. 
<laughs> hey, Ski, come on, give me that. It's loose. It's red. Come on, will you throw that away, please? No. I bet he got it. Just a guess. Right well, a rat. It passed. C plus average. Thought you'd like to know. Hey, that's not too shabby, guys. Yeah, well, he's okay. A month in there, because he was talking about, you know, what what's in him that they what can't take from him. Right here. That's what the man said. I'm scared. <laughs> what's gonna happen to him? What are they doing? Warden. What? The warden is scary. He's a scary man. I'll tell you something, this thing really came along and knocked my wind out. Yeah, so what is he gonna like right kill thing him? To do. Would you be willing to swear before a judge and jury? Having okay. placed your hand He's on doing the, the right thing. And taken an oath before Almighty God himself. Just give me that chance. See, I thought he'd be like, all right, I'm gonna have to you're gonna have to kill this kid. If not, he's gonna Yeah, see? Oh my god. Oh my god. For Rizzo. He that dude. Bro. I'm telling you. I knew it. I knew because he was the only person I could go in and testify against him. And he, he, he needs to launder his money. He has to. I'm sure by now you've heard. That I killed that man because you're going to be my tax man until the day you die. If someone else stirring up your skills, nothing stops. Nothing. No, no, no. See, what you're going to do is you're going to keep working for him, and then you're going to get him caught. What am I being up to, you're being obtuse. I'm gonna be like, hello, IRS. Give him another month to think about it. Jesus. Oh my God. Two months? Damn, how did, how, how did his luck get so bad? You know, like, why did, like, his wife, why did she do that? I'm a hard man to know. Complained about it all the time. That's why she died, because of me. No. I am. I don't make you a murderer. Yeah. Listen to Morgan Freeman. Bad about it if you want to, but you didn't pull the trigger. I didn't. And I wound up in here. <laughs> Bad luck, I guess. Don't Except you, you have the opportunity to take down the greatest villain of all time, the warden. It's a good opportunity. Where's that? In Mexico. I don't think that's too much to ask. No, guys, he's innocent, and I'm sorry I was saying I he's crazy. Get busy living. You get busy dying. I think he needs to scheme on the warden's money infrastructure, and I think if he can create an entire person, how he was telling get Red. Get out of here, do me a favor. Sure. Ever get out? Find that spot. There's something buried under it. I want you to have. What it? What you see? A treasure? Okay, is he planning on dying? What is going on? Well, I'm telling you, the guy's he's talking funny. I'm really worried about him. Yeah. You gotta keep an eye on him. Oh Lord. He asked me for a length of rope. Rope? And you gave it to me. Sure I did. Why wouldn't I? Guys, this movie stresses me out. <sighs> Look, we split. Want to get home. Just about finished. Oh, I've been stressed about so many different things this whole time. Good having you back, Andy. Okay, you prick. Move on. That guy sucks. It always sucks. Like, they... they they're, it's just like the worst. Like, I hope he does not. Don't do it. See, if there's any time to pray, it's now. That was the longest night of my life.
Don't make me come down there, I'll thump your skull for you. Oh, my holy God. Every man on this Ooh, he's been question. digging, he's been digging, he's been digging. Him. You can't tell me, you can't tell me that he hasn't been digging. That man's been digging a hole. He's what been picking. I want him found. Not tomorrow, not after breakfast, now. Yes, sir. Lord, it's a miracle. Man up and vanished like a fart in the wind. <laughs> Nothing left but damn rocks on the windowsill. That? And that cupcake on the wall. We dig, 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 and we dig, dig, dig. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Andy Dufresne escaped from Shawshank Prison. That's crazy all they found <laughs> him was a muddy set of prison clothes a bar of soap and an old rock hammer i remember thinking it would take a man 600 years to tunnel through the wall with it old andy did it in less than 20. <sighs> well, where did he put all the dirt geology is the study of pressure and time Pressure and time. And his favorite hobby was toting his wall out into the exercise yard. A handful at a time. I mean, seriously, how often do you really look at a man's shoes? It's amazing. It took him a long time, but... Oh my God, and there's a storm. Oh, it's perfect. Water. Oh, it's carbonated poo water. Ew. And to crawl to freedom through 500 yards of smelling foulness I can't even imagine. <laughs> oh. 500 yards. <sighs> so the prison's surrounded by a poo moat. Oh my God, he did it. And he's innocent, dude. I must say, I'm sorry to be losing your business. I hope you'll enjoy living abroad. Thank you. I'm sure I will. He's been funding. Excuse me, Chancellor. Would you add this to your outgoing mail? He's been. F oh my God. Mr. Stevens visited. That's way better, better than I thought. Ever thought. Area that morning. All told, he blew town with better than three hundred and seventy thousand dollars of water. That's good. Money. Okay. Severance pay for nineteen years. For real, and a life sentence that didn't belong to him. Oof. Oof. It's just funny because they thought and they were like, oh, this is revenge. You have the right to remain silent. If you give up the right to remain Damn. silent. Damn. I wasn't there to see it, but I hear Byron Hadley started sobbing like a little girl when they took him away. Well, I mean, hopefully you don't end up back in that prison because. Oh, yeah, I mean, he's completely the opposite of everything he th has said he stands for. So is he shooting himself or shooting them? I don't want to look at it. I like to think the last thing that I don't want to look did was to wonder how the Is hell it done? Andy Dufresne ever got the best of him. No. Carter, James. Will you sit down? 
Maybe this will be different now. You feel you've been rehabilitated? You know, I don't have any idea what that means. Well, it means you're ready to rejoin society. I know what you think it means, Sonny. What do you really want to know? Am I sorry for what I did? Well, are you? As not a day goes by, I don't feel regret. I look back on the way I was, and I want to try to talk some sense to him. But I can't. So you go on and stamp your form, Sonny, and stop wasting my time. Oh. I'm gonna cry again. Okay, go find the the basically I think it's obsidian is what he's gonna be looking for. Is this the same room? I, my ass would be running to I would be running to that tree with the wall in the field all I do anymore is think of ways to break my parole so maybe they'd send me back no only one thing stops me a promise I made to Andy thank you okay 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 guys I'm excited that's what I was waiting for there you go find buried treasure dear red if you're reading this you've gotten out you remember the name of the town don't you say what to nail say what to nail i will be hoping that this letter finds you and finds you well your friend andy <laughs> get busy living or get busy dying that's goddamn right for the second time in my life, I'm guilty of committing a crime. I find I'm so excited I can barely sit still or hold a thought in my head. I hope I can make it across the border. I hope the Pacific is as blue as it has been in my dreams. I hope. Oh. <laughs> That's so... That's a good movie, guys. That's a good movie. That is a good movie. Okay, well, I'm sorry for judging Andy at the beginning a little harshly, okay? And then halfway through a little bit as well because you never know, all right? But in his case, it just happened to be bad timing and it, it just didn't look good, which is understandable. This movie was so good and it felt really long, but like, I don't know. It also felt like I could have just kept watching it. Like they could make that like into like a TV show series. Brooks with his little bird, the librarian, like he did so much good, like inside and like helped like with the education. I feel really bad for the kid that got murdered because he was genuinely trying to do the right thing. Um, yeah, I can't with the warden and his freaking stupid little henchmen people. But I'm glad justice was truly served. And I know he loved his wife, but damn. Why'd she, she did not have to do all that. And he is a changed man now, though. And I hope that together in Mexico, they have a really good time. So, I don't know. This movie was good. I got moved... A few times it was kind of like each little like hump ha would happen and it was like it got me there crying again we're crying again crying one more time <laughs> i don't know this movie was just really good so yeah why have i never watched this this is why i love doing this because this is a this was a fantastic movie i really like this is like a could be like a comfort movie like if i need to like get some tears out and like have a story on hope and like redemption and like you know then this is a good little movie so but all right guys well thanks for hanging out with me and watching the Shawshank Redemption and I will catch you in the next one bye